Look how big that shark is. It's a bonnet head. Three and a half foot. This is something heavy. And it's not exactly fighting like a red. Today I plan to fish with a mixture of artificials and a little bit of live bait. I caught like one shrimp and two mud minnows at before I launched. So I'm gonna use those first for redfish, trout, and flounder. Uh, and then go back to artificials. And then I might throw the cast net, try to catch some bait. It's gonna be really hot today. You know, we're gonna be fishing in the middle of the day in the summer. So here's the setup we're throwing today. This is a Pin Fierce 3000. One of my favorite reels. It's spooled with 15 pound Power Pro braid. I have that on a toadfish, six feet, eight inch rod, medium light, fast action, really good rod. And I'm throwing a trout eye jig head with a little paddle tail on it. And it's one of my favorite setups to throw right now. Red, gotta be. Gotta be a red. God. So it's gotta be a big overslot red. I'm using shrimp, so maybe it's a black one. I threw half of that one shrimp that I have out there and two seconds later, I had a fish. Yeah, just a big overslot. Not even that big, honestly. He might even be close to slot. He's probably 25. Yeah, it puts up a, they put up a real good fight this time of year. I mean, they don't give up. Yeah, he's over slot for sure. Got him on the trout eye jig head. The, just half of a live shrimp that I caught. The one and only live shrimp I was able to catch. 26 and a half, that's not bad. Yeah, 26 and a half. I'll take one of these a trip and that pretty much makes the day, you know? Time to let it go. I already had a bite. Something small though. I don't know what small would have hit that. Still alive too. I don't know what this is. Flounder? It's gotta be a flounder. Yeah, a little flounder. But you see what I'm saying, right? It's just like this bank is pretty deep and there's and we're we're on like a, a corner, you know, and every everything seems to congregate around here. Well, that's my one mud minnow. <laughs> I'll start throwing gulp now, now that I know there's some fish here though. I'll probably catch them on gulp. That's like a 10 incher. Maybe a little bit bigger, but. Got him on a big mud minnow. He ate a pretty good sized mud minnow. Well, there's one right there. Uh, they're all like, these are big gars freshwater fish and seriously in the last 20 seconds I've seen like 20 of them and they're big I'd like to just snag one because I know I never I'm never gonna hook one and get them to bite a bait look at that that's a dark color up there Seriously, just everywhere. There's 
the bite. See if he comes back for it. Definitely a trout. He did come back. Or maybe it's a different trout. Oh. A flounder. Maybe it was a flounder that bit originally. Another small flounder. Second one of the day. This one's a little bit bigger than the one I caught earlier. Still not a keeper. I think it'd be 16 inches now. That's like a 12 incher, 13 incher. So I'm switching to a quarter ounce jig head instead of an eighth ounce jig head. And the reason why I'm doing that because the water is just coming up and it's up, you can tell it's up against the grass. And I want I just want my lure to go down deeper, closer to the bottom. Because that's where the fish are hanging out. So I need more weight to do that. It's that simple. And there it is, that's just double the weight, but the same thing I just used to catch that flounder. First cast, another flounder? Another small flounder. But I really think going heavier just helped. I mean, I just got another flounder. First cast with that, just a little 12 inch flounder. All right, this, this is something heavy. And it's not exactly fighting like a red. Now it is a little bit more, yeah. Yeah, it's a red. He was not fighting too much. Still not fighting too much. Man, it's a good size fish. There we go. Now he's fighting a little bit more. Oh, he's a swap. Red. Quarter ounce trout eye jig head with a chicken on a chain color bass assassin paddle tail. This is like a 20 incher, 21 inches maybe. Really good keeper. Yep, 21. Real nice 21 inch slot redfish. Got them on the artificial uh, in the middle of a really hot summer day. Not always easy to get them this time of year on artificials. All right, I don't even know if the camera's on. I gotta keep the trout on. It's gonna boat flip them. That's a nice trout. Fourteen and a half. He's a keeper. Second trout of the day, and first keeper trout of the day. On the bass assassin, chicken on a chain color. Got another trout. Little one. This is a bigger trout. Or it's a flounder? Oh, okay. Yeah, it is a bigger trout. And you're about to see me lose it. Nope. Okay. Okay, second keeper flounder. I mean, trout, not flounder. Trout don't seem to mind the heat right now because they're biting artificials. Get a good measurement. 16 incher. 
There it is, that's a nice 16 inch trout. That's the biggest trout of the day so far. Very aggressive bite, so pretty fun to catch one this size. They put up a good fight this size. Whoa. Okay, this was a pretty good day of fishing. A nice overslot, really hard fighting redfish, a few flounder, all undersized, maybe five trout with a couple being keepers. It's really hot and I expected the bite to be a little slow and it kind of was to start out with, but I got on some fish and had a lot of fun. Yeah.